This is a brief overview of Abiflexi Capture Distributed and its Web Services API. Abiflexi Capture is a solution for automated classification, data capture, indexing and archiving of documents. It is able to process uh, documents with uh, fixed design as well as uh, it has no problem to process documents when position of necessary information is changing from one document to another. For instance, uh, every company has its own template for invoices. All right. Uh, in general, uh, Abi Flexi Capture is available in two versions, standalone and distributed. In this uh, overview, we are talking about uh, distributed installation of Abi Flexi Capture. Distributed that means that uh, duties are distributed. You may have various scanning operators, verification operators, and uh, administrators working together with one flow of documents. Usually, Abiflexi Capture Distributed is convenient for large projects when multiple operators are involved or number of documents which has to be processed uh, exceeds half million pages per year. All right, uh, uh, in addition to its uh, uh, multiple features, uh, Abiflexi Capture uh, Distributed uh, has uh, open API and uh, an external application is able to access projects uh, via SOAP or HTTP uh, protocol. Uh, in other words, uh, an external application may send uh, images uh, for recognition to Abi Flexi Capture and then get uh, 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 results which may be captured data from your documents. So uh, let's take a look uh, on a real project uh, uh, to get uh, an idea of how uh, it can work. Currently on my application server I have uh, only one project. Uh, which was uh, pre-created for processing of uh, uh, human completed forms. Let's take a look at document definition editor. All right, so we are talking about uh, uh, such forms which were created maybe by, by a supermarket which is uh, willing to collect information about its customers. So. In this case, uh, what we are willing to capture uh, is uh, client's name, surname, and uh, his contact details, which are telephone numbers and uh, emails. Uh, also, as you may see, I have some additional fields. Knowing uh, code of uh, mobile phone, it is possible to identify operator, as well as uh, on the basis of uh, city code I can find out where actually this person resides. This project uh, is working without uh, any uh, verification. Verification is actually switched off for all of the fields. Uh, and uh, data, data is uh, exported to a database, to SQL native database and uh, we are supposed to read our data from this database later on. Okay, so this is a flexi capture part of uh, demonstration. And uh, this project is already uploaded to the server. And let's just make sure that uh, server itself, processing, processing server, is uh, running. Uh, application server is running. We, we do have one processing server and the uh, processing station is connected. Everything is launched. Our project is uploaded. So actually everything is uh, ready for processing of our documents. But as uh, uh, I already mentioned, in this case we will have a separate application which we will be communicating with our, our project uh, using uh, web Services API. This is a very simple uh, form application, Windows form application created uh, the use of Microsoft Visual Studio and uh, C Sharp. Uh, I'm using C Sharp as programming language, and um, 
Now, first of all, uh, I uh, added uh, web reference to uh, Abi Flexi Capture web service. Right, so actually here you may see properties of uh, this reference. Actually, it is necessary to indicate uh, a URL to our web service. This URL can be found in, in the help file. All right, and um, all right, this is a simple web form, and the idea is that uh, we will be opening an image. And then, by pressing this Capture Data button, I would like this application to send uh, image to Abi Flexi Capture for recognition and capture of necessary fields. And then, this application will read recognition results. Well, let's take a look uh, at, at the code of this application. Here is the code of this uh, application. Basically, we have uh, two events. Uh, first event is click on our browse button, and then I am opening dialog uh, window so that uh, our user may indicate uh, path to to an image which we are willing to to process. All right. And then we have a second event, which is actually click on the button capture. And in this case, we are willing to send our image for recognition and then later on read our results. So here is actually the, the function read data capture, which is doing communication with uh, Abi Flexi Capture. So uh, first of all, it is necessary to uh, open session. So with these four lines of code, uh, I'm doing that. After that, uh, uh, using using uh, methods of uh, flexi capture object, uh, I'm able to, for instance, read uh, names and IDs of all available projects. All right, and then uh, using uh, cycle, I can. I can go project by project and analyze their name, select appropriate project. In my case, as uh, you already saw, I have only one project uh, loaded uh, to Abiflexi Capture, so I am just taking the, the first one. And uh, then this is, uh, this is uh, another method which enables me to read all uh, names of batch types. And again, using cycle, I can uh, I can uh, uh, analyze uh, name, ID of every batch. And uh, uh, again, I, I just uh, added this code in order to illustrate that we do have access to, to all batch types, but in fact, uh, I have only one batch type, so I don't really need these methods uh, in this code. Anyway, here, here I am creating a new uh, batch of uh, default type, and uh, uh, this is assigning of name to this batch. And after that, uh, 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 it is possible to add images to this batch. And uh, actually, this is what I am doing with the next few lines of code. So actually here I'm taking part to, to, to my file and yeah, using this method I'm adding my file to, to, to the batch. All right, and uh, after that I am uh, initiating recognition of uh, my batch and uh, using, using uh, this method I am able to get uh, status of uh, of my batch. I am able to read how many persons of uh, my batch were uh, processed, and uh, actually uh, I am uh, uh, I created a little loop here, and periodically uh, something like every every uh, every uh, hundred milliseconds I am checking the status of my batch and as soon as uh, uh, um, 
it was processed, so uh, this value receives 100%, and this loop is uh, finished. So basically, you are able not only to send uh, images for processing, but you also can read uh, information about uh, about status of images or batches sent for recognition, and of course, display in your in your application. Actually, this is what I'm doing here. I have a text field in my application and I'm printing status uh, uh, in this loop. All right, and uh, afterwards, when, um, when uh, processing is finished, uh, uh, I am, I am uh, actually uh, reading, reading data uh, from uh, Abiflexi capture. I'm, I'm taking name name of the document. Actually, this is ID of uh, uh, my document. I'm interested in ID of the document. And after that, as I already said, project is configured in such manner that uh, all recognized data is sent to uh, SQL database. And uh, when I know that my batch is processed, I can read uh, results in database using this simple SQL request. And then, of course, I am assigning recognition results to the fields which I have uh, on my form. Okay, let's, um, let's take a look uh, on this application in action. So, uh, let's compile it. Okay, this is our form. First step, we have to indicate path to our image. All right, here is a form, and then I press Capture Data button, and uh, after I have pressed this button, we see some messages here, which are indicating that uh, uh, our application connected to Abiflexi Capture read uh, uh, names of available project, customer details, this is the ID of the project, then batch types, we have only one batch type, uh, formulaire. All right, then as you may see, uh, batch was created with the name sample API batch. Then what do we have? And yeah, and this is uh, status of processing. As you may see, yeah, the, the value changes. 33% and then processing was finished, 100% image was processed. Uh, fine, and uh, yeah, here are recognition results. So this is how you may create uh, uh, your own application which will have access to Abiflexi Capture and to Data Capture functionality. Abiflexi Capture Distributed goes together with the so-called developer's help and um, in this developer's help it is possible to find a detailed description of uh, the web services API of Abiflexi Capture application server which includes description of all objects, its properties and methods as well as uh, there are several examples and uh, code from these examples uh, simplifies understanding of how API actually works as well as it is possible to use this code directly in your applications if uh, it is necessary. And finally, if you liked uh, Abiflexi Capture Distributed, feel free to request a free trial at www.flexicapture.com. Thank you very much for your attention.